All right, another MLB 16, the show Dynasty, or Diamond Dynasty video here. But we decided to come through, fix up our rotation a little bit, and got a creative player. Here's our pitching stats for him. And here in a second, we'll go look at the hitting stats. I pretty much ate all of my cards that I didn't have uh, in my lineups on the bench, rotation, or bullpen. I just ate them all up, tried to get them up as much as possible and here are the lineups for each team for this game in Chicago so the Atlantic City Alcoholics against the Chicago Black Sox bunting to start off the game is Rajay Davis and he gets it we will see very soon and we will learn that that is Rajay Davis's favorite way of getting on base he will then steal Two bases, get on to third here in the first inning, and we strike out the next guy. Remember, we were lucky enough to get our new player in the first game we try, uh, that we got connected to. I've been having some issues getting connected. It just says, like, uh, challenge failed or something. So, you know, I just keep trying, and eventually I'll get in one. He gets a sack fly, and the next batter will get a base hit. So an early rally, hopefully it doesn't end up like the first inning of our last game and it does not our last game was ugly and then we made an amazing comeback the ball kinda glitched out there maybe some connectivity issues so I go down looking with cargo McCutcheon almost reaches on an air but the first baseman makes a great play and then Tulowitzki strikes out first batter of the second we strike him out second batter of the second almost get him on strikes but he will chop out in front of the mount, in front of the plate. Yadier Molina makes the play. Next batter on the ground, a short to Lewitsky with the great arm, able to set them down. Hangs the curve, and it's way gone. Chris Crush Davis able to tie this game up for us. It is now one to one. Next batter, David Wright, almost able to reach. And he is thrown out. And then Jason Kipnis, close play at first, but he is also ruled out. Chris Bryant, fly ball, shallow right field. Watch this curve on this ball. I'm just guessing that's some connectivity issues. But next batter, or his first batter of this inning, I should say, tries to lay down a bunt. We end up throwing him out. I believe that is his pitcher. And then Davis once again will reach on the bunt. He's got 98 speed. And then he's going to steal second base once again safely. So we're having a lot of trouble here containing Davis on the base paths. This one's a fly ball with one out. Playable for Brian out there. Makes a play. He keeps Davis at second. Smart move there because any base hit will most likely score him anyway. No need to risk it. But this is not a base hit. This is caught in foul territory from Yadi Molina. Yadi Molina, again, did you see the ball, how it kind of lags? That messed us up. Our first at bat with our new guy, he lines out. And Cargo, questionable call for his second strikeout of the game. On the ground, a third. Chris Bryant, there we go. For one out, the one-two count. We get him with the high heat. 96 is what our fastball is topping out on. It seems like he will get a base hit here. The one-two struck him out on the high heat. So Andrew McCutcheon will go down looking. He just froze us with that one. Can't blame the connection on that one. Liner from Tulowitzki. It is caught for their second out. He hangs another curveball for Crush Davis. This time only for a single. Would have been nice to get another homer from him. But we've got plenty. And now I don't know what our opponent's doing, but he ends up throwing the ball away. Chris Davis will advance to second. Again, I don't know what he was doing, but David Wright not able to drive him in. We can't take advantage of an error from our opponent. So that sends us into the fifth inning. Struck him out. Our guy has got some pretty filthy stuff, and he's also got some good heat. On the ground to third base, uh, that is David Wright making the play. 0-2, two, two outs way ahead, and struck him out. Now Kipnis to lead off our half. 
he's running towards first, ends up throwing it for out number one. Chris Bryant gets fooled when he pulls the string on the change for out number two. And then Molina grounds out to end the inning. He starts off the beginning of this inning with a base hit into right field past the diving Chris Davis and then follows that up with a little bloop to left. So he's got a little bit going, but then what in the world's he doing here? We end up not being able to capitalize on his mistake as he gets back to the base. <clears throat> Striking out the next guy with one out, and then he's trying the double steal. It's not going to work this time. And we throw him out, so now two outs, and we end up getting Yadier Molina making two nice plays to end the inning. Our created man here in Diamond Dynasty able to get a base hit. His center fielder a little juked out. I think he thought he was still controlling the shortstop. We're able to get a base hit. We've seen that story before. It didn't end well the first time. It does the second time for him, at least. Our pitcher, our creative player, is going to end up stealing second, and his shortstop is his creative player. He ends up making a mistake. We're going to score, and now... McCutcheon is up. He bloops one into the gap. That'll score a run. McCutcheon around first. He's headed to second. Second, the wild throw. He's going to third. He's going to be in there safely with a triple. Still no outs. And the ball gets through. Another mistake by my opponent. And we end up taking a 4-1 to one lead. And he has had enough. He wants a friendly quit. Unfortunately, we decline. So, Tulowitzki now after the pass ball or wild pitch, whatever you want to score it. High throw from his shortstop. He's able to come down with it. Chris Davis, a little lag in the ball again. Costs us. And David Wright just grounds out. No! He's able to beat it out. His shortstop as a creative player not having that great of a game. Kipnis way back to deep center. Kiss it goodbye. We're able to take a 6-1 to lead in Chris Bryant now. His guy stumbles. Chris Bryant rounds around first to second. Safely. Close play, though. And Yadi Molina base hit. We're going to send Bryant home, not on purpose. We accidentally, we're still getting used to those controls rounding bases. They seem a little bit more touchy this year, but our creative player comes through once again, helping his own cause. And we will take the, I think it's 7-1, to 7-1 to one lead. Cargo pops up on the infield. He's able to get out of this now if he can ever track it down. First pitch swinging, we've seen that play before, and he gets the lead off single, but his next batter strikes out, and the next batter, Bloop, coming in as the right fielder, Cargo, not able to make the play. It's going to end up being first and second now, with just one out, the 1-0 count, slow roller to too low, able to get it to Kipnis, Kipnis to Davis, weak, turn the double play. A big double play gets us out of that inning. And Andrew McCutcheon, kiss it goodbye. Eight to one. And that might have been the dagger right there. But Tulowitzki, we're not done. He's going to bloop one in to center field. That'll be a base hit. And that brings up Chris Davis, ground ball. He's able to turn a nice double play here although I thought that throw to first was a little high I thought we might be able to get something <clears throat> and David Wright flies out the 0-2 count <laughs> Rajay Davis with the bunt we haven't seen that one before he's able to reach but a little fly ball here to center field McCutcheon is there so one out keeping Davis at first We'll see if he tries to steal. <clears throat> he does not try to steal. It's a ground ball to second. We're going to take an aggressive move and able to turn the double play. So Kipnis wanting to jump on that changeup way too early. Chris Bryant, though, another base hit to right field. This one, he's going around first on to second. You see, uh-oh. 
That is not what we wanted. And then we start running to second. We get kind of messed up by a glitch there. And he ends up getting out. And that ball lags out a little bit. A little bit of connection issues. I'm hoping they can get that taken care of because I'm loving playing Diamond Dynasty. And this ball's popped up shallow right center. The second baseman for his team able to make the play. Ninth inning, first pitch hit to on the ground to Chris Davis. We make the play. Next batter line drive, Chris Bryant right there with two outs. Neil Walker, I believe, turns on one way back, but Cargo chases it down. We end up winning this ball game. Andrew McCutcheon, your player of the game. Two for four, two runs scored, a home run, and two RBIs. Here's where we stand in the rankings. 2,000, I don't know. Four and two. We shouldn't have those two losses, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our Creative Players debut, and I'm hoping you enjoy the Diamond Dynasty series. Until next time, peace.